of the dry sump tank. The original was designed and built up by Bob Blake who built the original car. And he seems to have a fascination of the 3 16 fasteners. The thing is absolutely covered in them. Which I'm recreating. The way the thing works is actually inside the sump, down below the level of the, the, um, the sill, Down below the level of the sill, the original actually had a rubber tank which is connected to the dry sump tank and acted as a reservoir. I'm actually not recreating that part of it, the bit that's not seen, but I'm making one out of aluminium which I should be able to remove fairly easily and clean quite easily. The way the thing's designed is the inlet actually comes through, there's a bit of a baffle here, the inlet's in the side here and it draws it down from the bottom of the slope. There's a bit of a baffle, as I say, to try to keep a nice constant head of oil to the pump. Above that, there is a grid, which is screwed onto the top. It doesn't act as any kind of filter. It's purely an aid to de -aeration. Then above that, the tank itself, above the level of the silt, sits on top of that. The whole thing's bolted together so it can be removed for cleaning. Inside the main body of the tank, there's a series of almost like little weirs. The oil percolates down to de it. I suppose nowadays people would tend to use centrifugal forces in separation. But this has actually got a whole lot of removable baffle plates perforated, which somehow go into here, like that. that's the one down at the bottom, and then the subscript ones are fitted above, and they all lean towards the centre. And the idea is the oil falls into the top, by the time it percolates through and gets to the bottom and into the sump, the air has been removed. Well that's the theory, it'll be interesting to see how it works in practice. It is a very large tank. Looking at some of the data, it seems to have started off with something with something neat approaching nine gallons capacity. They eventually got that down to about six gallons, and this tank is more than capable of holding six gallons plus a bit of airspace above it. Experience will show how much we actually, what sort of level we actually need to keep. At the side of the tank, there is a catch tank which bolts to the sides, like that, and that catches any overflow. 